we need help. We need to speed up the process of finding places to stay. Homelessness has doubled uh, since the time in the in, in the, the early 2000s when we thought that there were three million people there. I think that there's a lot more people. I would say the number's closer to six million. You won't hear that number from anybody else, probably. We've been trying to find a place. I get a check every month, but I can't find nothing that fits our budget. Gentrification is the only housing policy that this city has. Atlanta's housing policy is gentrification. That's it. The International Olympic Committee has awarded the 1996 Olympic Games to the city of Atlanta. Here's a bus ticket, go somewhere else, promise never to come back. That was controversial even in the moment. We have a bunch of people that's collaborating and conspiring to lie about what's actually happening during this Super Bowl. Every behavior that we all engage in, that we are free to engage in, has been criminalized for people who have to live outside on the streets here. Peachtree and Pine served a need for uh, people who had nowhere else to go. I was part of the group that helped shut down Peachtree and Pine. And it is empty to this day, and people are dying on the streets and have died every year since 2017, and that building is empty. Empty. Since they shut down Peachtree and Pine, we got 10 times as many unsheltered homeless people on the streets than we ever had before. Overall, more than 38 million people in the United States are living in poverty, and I promise you, they're not ready for corona. Uh, you got like 50 to 100 people that are sleeping side by side, you know. I mean, we don't know what they have. You know, people are constantly coughing and, and all this and that, but what are we supposed to do? Be on the streets? The city needs to step their game up for the homeless, because we done been out here too long, but you put the police officers on us to harass us, that's not good. It's not good.